Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video series, I will show you guys how to set up different types of VPN in Microtape. For this video tutorial, I will set up SSTP side-to-side -side VPN in Microtape. SSTP means Secure Socket Tunneling Protocol and it uses SSL over TLS and TCP port 443. Without further ado, let's get started. I have here a topology. We have site A and we have site B. I will configure this microtech to become a VPN server and in site B, a VPN client. Each sites are connected to the internet and has a different one public IP address and LAN IP address. Make sure that the one IP address of your SSTP server is static, not dynamic, so it will not change because the VPN client will connect to that public IP address. What I want is for the LAN of both sides to communicate with each other through the tunnel that we created using the SSTP VPN. Let's now do the configuration. I will access the microtech device of site A. I'm done doing the basic configuration. We will just do a quick run through. So go to interfaces here in Ether1 is my one one then I make a bridge and that bridge I assign ports three, two, three and four. Then in the IP address, the bridge has an IP address of 10.20.20.1. Then the 1 has a static IP address of 1.20.20.2. Then I make a DNS. I make a route for my internet. Then I make a masquerade rule in the NAT firewall rules. For the video of the basic configuration, I will put the link on the description box below. And I also put a name in the identity. So this device has an identity name of site A. Let's do a ping test. Alright, it's confirmed that this device has an internet. So we will now go to PVP to configure the server configuration. In the interface tab, click SSTP server. Check enabled. As what you notice, SSTP server uses port 443. Leave the rest to defaults. And click apply, then OK. Let's go to profiles tab. We will just use the default encryption profile to check the settings of this one, double click it. And in the general tab, leave the rest of default. Protocols, make sure that the use encryption is yes. In the limits, change the only one to no. And apply, then OK. Then in the secrets tab, we'll now add a VPN user. So click plus, and then this one, SSTP test. And then put a password. Then the, in the service, choose SSTP. And profile default encryption local address we will input here the an ip address of 10.1.1 meaning this is the tunnel address of this device which is this one site a has a tunnel address of 10.1.1 that one then remote address 10.2.2.2 10 10 meaning this is the tunnel address of the remote side which is the site b this one. Click apply. Then OK. So we are now done config with the configuration of the server side of the SSTP of the site A. So we will access site B.
All right, so I am already done doing with the configuration of this one, basic configuration. So let's just do a quick we can throw Anto interface. Ether one is my internet port. Then I make a bridge. Then assign ports to that bridge. Then in the IP address, the IP address of the bridge is this one, 10.20.30.1. Then the Ether one. I have an IP address of this one. Then go to IP DNS. Then IP firewall. I put masquerade. I config I configured masquerade rule here. Later one. Then I also configured in the identity. Name site B. Let's do a ping test. All right, this device has an internet. So we will now configure the VPN client configuration. Go to PPP, then interface, click plus, choose SSTP client. Then in the name, it's up to you what name you want. So in my case, I put VPN to site. A. Then dial out, connect to the public IP address of the site A. So in our case, it's this one. one 8 So I'll input that public IP address. Then username, SSTP test, password, then uncheck verify server address from certificate because we did not use a certificate in this uh, VPN connection. We can configure a certificate, but I will not tackle that in this video. So I'll just uncheck this one. Then apply, then OK. Let's wait for it to connect. All right, it's connected. We have an R symbol here, means it's running. We will double open this one, then go to status. Coding is this one. And coding type is aes 256 cbc Then local address, we are in site B, therefore the local address is this one. We are in Site B, therefore, the remote address is this one. But we cannot uh, communicate with this I with this local IP yet. So if you do ping, ping 10.2020.1, it's unreachable. For us to connect with the local IP of the remote side, then we will configure static routing. So we'll go to IP, then route, click plus, destination address, since we are in site B, the destination address will be this one, the network address of the remote side. So we'll input here 10.20.0, 10.20.0. 20.0 slash 24 and the gateway is the tunnel address of the remote side so in our case it's 10.1.1.1 10.1.1.1 you can also just choose the tunnel interface here then click apply so the status is now reachable so we will also configure static routing in the on the site A. So let's access the device of site A. Connect. We will configure static routing. 
click plus so destination address since we are in site a the destination address is this one 10 to 20 that 30.0 slash 24 gateway is the tunnel address of the remote side so we are in site a therefore the remote side the tunnel address of the remote side is this one 10 1.1.2 apply then okay so the status is reachable so when we ping this IP we can now we can now connect successfully all right so the so we establish communication now with both sites the local address of the both sites so I have a computer and this microtech device that I the IP address of this one so I'll when I ping the IP address of that computer all right so we are now connected successfully let's access the site b device and do a ping test there I'll ping this IP address. I cannot ping this one because I don't have a computer in this device. So I'll just just uh, ping the local IP gateway. So when I ping, right, so it connected successfully. This is it, guys, on how to set up SSTP site to site VPN in Microtech. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please also hit that notification bell so you can be notified to my new videos. Bye for now and have a nice day.